underhand anymore. A softball game? Yeah. I've thought about it. I, I don't know. I have to. No, I, I was asking the coach, um, how do they make that noise? And it's like, you get a big bruise on your thigh. So I don't know if I want a bruise on my thigh. If I, <laughs> I do it, but I may just have fun with it. How are you going to throw in the uh, A-Day game, underhanded or overhanded? Oh. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna that one. What have you improved the most on this spring? Um, I mean, obviously we came into, into the spring, you know, focusing on our passing game, and I think we've gotten better in that area, in, in all areas, really. Um, we go out to practice with the motto of improving, and I think we've done a great job with that this spring. Nick said today that he felt like maybe you, they protected you a little too much from last year. You felt like they had, not they hindered, but you think maybe you could have done more by the end of the season than, than they were asking you to do? Everything happens for a reason. I mean, I'm not going to say what I could have done, what I couldn't have done. Um, everything happens for a reason, and you know, it's a new year now. Do you, feel more comfortable, do you feel more comfortable with drop back passes now? Um, yeah, I think with. With the maturity part of it, and you know, experience, you're gonna get, you're gonna naturally be um, more comfortable with everything you do. You know, whether it's running the ball on offense as a running back, throwing the ball as a quarterback, um, you know, being a safety like Meek is, whatever it is, you know, you're gonna naturally progress. What makes that so hard, though? That that one particular thing as a freshman. Um, I mean, like I said, the maturity part of it, you know, it, it's different. It slows down naturally for everybody. So that's what we're looking forward to this season. How do you feel like right now you are, you're picking up on, on what Brian has brought in as far as reading uh, keys and reading certain things in, in plays? How, how well have you adjusted to that? Um, I think I've adjusted well. I mean, he's, he's doing a great job of explaining what he wants done, how he wants it done. So, I mean, I, I hold myself accountable to doing it the right way all the time. How big a deal was this game for you as you get to play in front of all that love? Since you got two guys, you know, two quarterbacks who are going to get to do it themselves. Well, it kind of, um, with it being the first time stepping into the stadium and playing against a big crowd, I think it was good to get it done early. Um, kind of got the, got the first time or whatever, got it out the way. And, you know, I think that helped me throughout the season because I had seen a big crowd like that before. How much of the playbook do you guys use on a game like A Day? Um, I mean, we go out there and whatever it's called, we execute. It sounds like Nick's a kind of it's scaled back. It's not the full what you would use like on a regular Saturday in the in the fall. Is that kind of what you see? Um, we go out there and we go execute what's called. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, what have you seen from the two freshman running backs this spring, and how is it how impressive has it been just collectively what um, they've done? Like I said, they. All running back, all all of the running backs have done a great job. Um, you know, Najee and um, Josh, Brian, Bo, whoever it is back there, they've all done a great job. And you know, whoever's back there, they're gonna do they're gonna do what we expect them to do. They're gonna run the ball hard, protect it, all that good stuff. So, like I said, for those new guys, you talk, you asked about Najee and, and Brian, right? I mean, they're gonna play. What's the chemistry? Let's see what it's like. What's the chemistry like between you and a guy like Calvin and Robert and Cam Sims and those top receivers? Up there? Well, Calvin's my roommate, so I mean, we live with each other. <laughs> and you know, with Robert, um, all those guys, Cam, we built you know relationships. I've been here for about a year and a half now, so it ain't like you know I don't know him or something. But obviously, everybody has a new role on the team now, and. We built that. We're all comfortable with each other, and we're all looking forward to what's in store for us. It's Calvin like as a roommate. He's a character. I think we're both characters, though. So <laughs> Nick has mentioned a couple times in spring about uh, pro style, whatever. What does that mean to you as a quarterback? That 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 system compared to maybe what you ran in high school or other things. Um, well, a system is a system. I got, like I told the young man here, I'm going to execute whatever it's called. That's my job, to execute, and that's what I have to do, execute. So whatever name anybody wants to call it doesn't matter, you're just going to do what they're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you feel like Robert Foster's taking a step forward this spring? Um, I think he has. Um, he's kind of opened up a little bit more, and you 
can see him as a leader on the team. Um, he makes plays, and you know, he's, he's a he's a baller. What is Coach Dable like from coaching the tech, from a technique standpoint? I mean, is there anything that he specifically emphasized, footwork or arm angle or anything like that? One thing I hear him say every day is improve. And every time we break the huddle, you know, I, he'll speak. You know, some good, some bad, just improve. You know, I break it down and improve, and you know that's our motto. What is the, the process or steps to get better as a Penn State quarterback that you've work, been working on? Um, Kind of. Um, just preparation. You know, the older you get in anything, um, you see things differently. Like I said, but I think that comes with experience and it's slowing down. And you know, when you worked on you know, the footwork part and you know the progression part. You know, just getting into details on what we need to do to execute the play that's called. And you know, the little things tie together. And, Obviously, the little things can be big things, but we have to do those little things right. A couple more. What's it like seeing the, the defense from under center versus you know, taking, you know, snaps from shotgun? Um, I mean, uh, it's not that big of a difference. I mean, you're dropping back, you're getting away from the center, getting away from the line, so you're seeing the defense no matter what's going on. With as much athletes as you have at running back, have you guys been utilizing them a little bit more in the passing game? Have you seen that? Um, maybe, you know, a little. You know, it's it's different, and y'all y'all will see it Saturday. When you're facing your, your own defense, who's the one pass rusher you really gotta know where he is? <laughs> I mean, usually here, all of them. I mean, they all can go. Going through a season, having to deal with Ryan Anderson and Tim Williams and you know, John Allen, I mean, uh, there's always somebody there can, that can make plays like that. Maybe I should put it this way: This spring, is there one guy who's been in the backfield a little bit more than anyone else? Um, like I said, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jalen. Thanks, Jalen.